Hi, I'm Russ with Delaney Drafting and Design. And in this video, we're going to be unboxing this 3-in-1 air duster and vacuum cleaner. I, I want to see if this is going to be a canned air duster killer or what. So I bought this on eBay for $35.99. And let's tear it open and see how well it works. All right, so here we have like the little filter in the housing. They gave you a charging cable. And I did charge it really quickly just to make sure it's ready for the demonstration here. It's nice. It's got a little indicator light on there to let you know the charging status. This is the main unit here. Okay, nice and compact. Uh, fits in your hand pretty nicely. It's kind of small, but it should be. And it's just simply a button here for the power. Okay. And you can feel it's sucking on this side and blowing on that side. That's supposed to be the big thing with this is uh, it's a vacuum and blower. So you got all these different attachments here. Okay, and then we got... Okay, there's a little quick instructions, a little setup. But let's just get in and um, figure it out here. So... Obviously, you got the filter there, so this is going to be for when you're doing um, vacuuming. And you're probably going to want to stick this attachment on there. And then this would be nice too. For vacuuming out spots and little cracks and that kind of stuff. And then let's see here. If you're going to be blowing with the thing, then you would attach to the other side. And then, yeah, that's blowing out. So they have that one. There's different size ones. Oh, this is, again, for that side. Okay, they say this is for actually sucking the air out of, like, storage bags and that kind of stuff. And then you have, like, a really focused one. For blowing. And then I suppose you could take and put the bristle on for blowing here like that and then you got the switch in the back and then yeah so here's so the filter that i right, noticed it it's got so this uh, where you can put the filter on the blowing side so when the filter gets all clogged up you can just pop it on there and then blow um it out. let's go ahead and start trying it out on the vacuum function i'm going to set that stuff aside here and then why don't we let me come right over to this computer we have right here. You can see in the vents you got some dust in there. So let's give that a try. Okay, it's kind of working. Um, Maybe I'll just be a little bit rougher with it here. Okay, now, well, really, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of stuck here. So, I don't know. Let's take that for what it is so far. Maybe we can just, uh, there. Okay, you can see it in here. All right, so that was our first little test. <clears throat> I was going to see how we can get the air out of this bag. Like they were saying, you can use that for uh, storage bags. Let's put some stuff in here. Oh, actually, they say that this is the fitting to use, so... Let me try that. Let me close it up on the side here. And try to suck the air out of the bag. Okay. Yeah, that seems to work pretty good. Um, I really think that it'd be better to use this thinner one here. I think they're maybe intending that differently, but... I think this one will work better. Hmm. 
Yeah, I guess that's working pretty good. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't seem all that strong to me, but um, let's, let's keep working with it here. I got another computer here. And, oh, you know what? Let's try out this keyboard. This is a little dusty here. Maybe we can try this round attachment here. All right. All right, well. Yeah, maybe not. I'm just wondering if it's more so the, the bristles that are doing most of the work. My initial impression, I would think that it would be nice if it was a little stronger. I don't know about you, but I would rather suck that out of there than blow it all around. Let's go back to this one. Okay, well, again, let me know what you guys think. Let's move on to, say, maybe we've got another dusty computer here. This fan in the back here looks pretty dusty. Why don't we see if we can suck that out of there? Okay, that's working pretty good. Let's see if we can get these blades. You know, maybe this is a little bit better than just blowing it with the canned air. Because then it's not getting everywhere and you're breathing it all in. You do have to work at it. It's, it is good that they give you the bristles. Yeah, but I'll be honest with you, I wonder uh, how well it would work just simply with a Q-tip. Let's take a look at the CPU fan down here, see if we can get something going with that. Okay, I still would like it better though. Let's see if we blow in there. Well, yeah, I can tell you, it's not as strong as the com as the compressed air cans. Those things, they are they are pretty fine, but they also don't last very long, and they're pretty expensive. So yeah, but. It, like I said, I don't think I like this for blowing that much anyway. Personally, I think the really big advantage to something like this would be this this vacuum feature. I'm sure you can use this on other things too, like in your car. Maybe we can try out some other things like that, say like in your center console and stuff like that. Maybe what we can do is take it out to the shop and hit some 3D printers with it. Great, so we're out in the shop right now and um, we're at one of my 3D printers and of course we got a bunch of little plastic on the table. So let's see how well it works on that. Okay, so my head's kind of getting a little clogged up in here. 
So here, why don't we try something different? I'm gonna. Yeah, that's where it all went. Let's try without the bristles. Okay, that's working pretty good. Yeah, well, these pieces maybe are a little bit too big. What I'm learning so far is it's good for maybe smaller things, and it's not really going to get that. When something's really dusty, it's not going to... I guess that's okay. Yeah, it works pretty good, but it's not some industrial strength thing. It is compact and battery operated. It does help when you're doing dusty things like that, just to use that bristle. But yeah, I don't know. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. For $35.99, I think I would like something a little bit higher performance than this. I don't think that it's completely a compressed air killer, if you will. It is really good, I think, to have the vacuuming function. I think that's going to be very beneficial in a lot of different applications, especially because, like I said, I don't like to have it uh, blowing everywhere and breathing that in. So as a little mini vacuum, I, I'd say it's, it's pretty decent. Uh, would be great if it was a little bit stronger. but uh, as far as for, for the blowing out and stuff like that, I may might not recommend that. But again, uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you got something out of the video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to click the bell for notifications.